Hey the internet, how's it going? You know, I haven't really talked about Naruto in so long. Let me go ahead and talk about it for real quick. So those of you who don't know, or everybody knows, is the fact that I'm not that much of a Naruto like ass kisser. I don't I don't I don't fucking kiss that show's ass for anything. So pretty much if it sucks, I'm gonna tell it how I feel like I should tell it how it is. And leading up from I'm gonna do a little bit of a recap here. Since I kind of stopped around episodes, I mean, chapters 694, excuse me, and I had to pick up from there, which I did, which I, which led from, which I stopped at the con congratulations, and when I picked up from there, what hit me was a whole bunch of stupid, a whole bunch of stupid of, sure thing, the battle between Naruto and Sasuke, it had his weird ass excuse for existing, and it had its crazy aftermath, but at the same time, what led Sasuke's plan was fucking stupid to me. Of him trying to be the villain in the shadows to keep everybody together. Now, honestly, I can see that that is what he wants, and that is a very genius, genius plan to be a villain so that everybody can just come together and they can hate this one villain so that they're always working together. However, at the same time, that is really is not that is not that smart because he's trying to become Madara in essentially he's trying he's trying to become immortal which that doesn't make any sense and that has never worked worked out for anybody so after naruto so after him and naruto have the little little bout and they do what they did last time so many years ago we kind of jump into our time skip of talking about everybody's children which if you kind of haven't seen this yet that this is going to be a spinoff I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter if, you know, you have a problem with it or not. It's going to be a spinoff. However, with how it is, it's a pilot. Everything about it is a pilot. It's not necessarily... It doesn't feel like an ending to me. It doesn't feel like the 700 episode... I mean, the 700 chapter is, is like the catch-all end-all. It is not the conclusion of Naruto. I mean, even with this movie coming out and the special coming along with the with um the Hugo sisters really this does not feel like an ending it does not feel like a conclusive ending to a very long series of a character who is trying to reach this goal of finally becoming the Hokage and now that he's the seventh Hokage and Sasuke is out there doing his traveling and everybody has their kids and you know half of these relationships really didn't 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 make any sense and it seems as in the feels as though that they've only done it to it feels as though it's that they've only done it to make certain characters, you know, say that they've ended up with somebody, which I really don't have a problem with. But really, it doesn't feel like an ending to me. It feels like it's a pilot to something that is to a brand new saga of Naruto passing the ch uh, passing the torch on onto his son Bolt. Which at this point, they're just making villains. For the sake of just keeping the story going, which I do have a feeling that that is that that will happen sometime in the future of them creating this show. I mean, if it happened for Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, and fans complaining to extend Dragon Ball Z onto whatever uh, onto at the end of the Boo fight, and then them taking it from that to GT on onto them making this Super Saiyan God mode movie. I mean, the Battle of the Gods movie. I mean, it's a never-ending cycle of people who just want it to, to just continue. And that's kind of just how I see it. So, pretty much, it was alright. $6.99 and $700 were alright. They weren't necessarily the greatest, but at the same time, they felt like pilots. So, pretty much, I will see you guys on the next John Grave Show. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Please keep watching anime. Keep playing video games.